This is the story of Mr. Chloe. I say he's the world's most travel pet bunny. You'll see and hear about his travels a little later on. This was our first house in Fort Worth. Moved in just in time to take baby pictures. There he is at six months, nine months, and then the next summer. He thinks he's helping with the gardening by eating a whole rose bush. But he won't mow the lawn. There is his first snow at Christmas time and just the kind of weather to start the fireplace, his favorite spot in the house. Not too long before this guy, me that is, got antsy to move back to New York, took a work transfer and headed east. Mr. Chloe did not think it was very far after learning his geography from school, but I had to show him the rest of the USA. It did not take long once we were settled in New York for Mr. Chloe to start exploring his new surroundings and find some favorite napping and playing spots. I was eager to take advantage of New York's great climate and soil to have those perennial gardens I'd only dreamed of. Mr. Chloe enjoyed romping in the garden and nibbling on fresh flowers. Summertime was perfect for visiting friends and relatives upstate. One weekend, we joined family in the Adirondacks. Mr. Chloe shares his affection for Cousin Annie, and perhaps the feelings go both ways. Another weekend visit, this time in Rochester with Cousin Mary. Now, she was convinced Mr. Chloe tore a hole in her wallpaper, but I have my doubts. He said the mystery tear was the work of a gang of mice. Time had come for another change, and I decided to give Manhattan a try, so we moved on up to the Upper East Side. Not quite the same lifestyle we were accustomed to, but smaller spaces suited Mr. Chloe just fine. Plus, he loved the attention he got strolling the streets of Manhattan and in Central Park. He attracted a crowd wherever he went. He also enjoyed visiting the park with his friends. So now with no yard to care for, plus Mr. Chloe being very used to travel from a very young age. Long trips weren't a problem. He enjoyed visiting California and did so many times. The beach was his favorite spot. Here we are at Doheny State Park. The sand was great for digging. He met a few pals along the way and took time in for a fireside chat. We visited Hamburg, Germany in November 2004. In June 2005, Mr. Chloe came with me on a business trip to Las Vegas. Our friend Marcy was gracious to care for him at her home while I slaved away at a convention. Little did I know Mr. Chloe and Marcy were rolling those high numbers every day. He would not tell me, though, what he did with all of his winnings. In between these travels, we spent an appreciable amount of time in Paris, both for work and pleasure. It really was my second home. 
Mr. Chloe first met our friend Carol in 2001. The bond between those two ever since could never be told through pictures. The affection they had for each other was extraordinary. Bonjour, Carol. Bonjour, Jeff. Je suis très contente de t'avoir rencontré avec Chloé. Et euh, nous avons beaucoup de points communs parce que nous aimons les plantes, les animaux et j'ai deux chats, deux perruches. Et ce fut un vrai bonheur de garder ton petit lapin adorable. Et euh, j'espère que vous allez revenir très bientôt parce que, parce que je vous aime énormément et vous aurez toujours une chambre dans mon cœur. Toujours. Merci, Carl. Oh! 